Okay, good morning, Northgate. Welcome. Uh, it's a Sunday morning, and uh, we're here to bring some worship with our team together. Uh, but we are socially distanced, as you can see, with at least two metres in between. So it's great to see you. Welcome. Uh, you'll see we've got Andy and Alex and Phil and Al and Rob and uh, we've got Joe who's doing some filming and uh, he's going to make it the sound work. So welcome to uh, Sunday Worship today. It's great to see you wherever you're from, wherever you're joining us from, you're really welcome. So uh, we're just going to worship together, praise God, give him glory and uh, have a fantastic time. So, Lord, this is for your glory, for your praise. We adore you, we worship you, we love you, and we're just here to say, Lord, be glorified this morning as we come together as musicians and singers for the first time. But we join across the airwaves and across the internet to parts of the world where people are tuning in today. But, Lord, you are a God beyond all of that. So we just say be glorified today as we give you our worship and our praise be exalted Lord we, we ask in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Amen Fantastic we're going to start with a song called Let Our Praise Be Your Welcome Let Our Songs Be A Sign That We Are Here For You and that's why we're here in just over the border in Wales uh, in my garden just to give glory and praise to God and welcome him with our praise Sing praise and glory to his name. Let our praise. And let our praise be your welcome. Let our songs be a sign. We are here for you. We are here for you. And let your breath come from heaven. We are, Lord, we are here for you. Sing that again. Let our praise be your welcome. And let our praise be your welcome. Let our songs be a sign that we are here for you. Yes, we are, Lord, we are here for you. Let your breath. And let your breath come from heaven. Fill our hearts with your life. We are here for you. Yes, we are, Lord. We are here for you. To you our hearts are open. To you our hearts are open. Nothing here is here. shout and let us shout be your anthem your renown fill the skies we are here for you yes we are lord we are here for you let your word To you our hearts are open, to you 
Welcome in this place, Lord, and you are welcome wherever you're joining in, us, uh, joining with us from around the world. This is a song called "Water You Turn Into Wine."
water you turned, the water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind, there's no one like you, there's none like you. And into the darkness you shine, and out of the ashes we rise, there's no one like you. None like you, yeah. And our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, and our God, our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher. for us and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what could stand against and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what could stand against then what could stand against God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. Wonderful. He really is an amazing and an awesome God, and that's who we're here to praise. My name's Guy, and uh, I'm leading some worship with the team from Northgate, back together for the first time in a long time, uh, just to lead Sunday worship this morning. So it's great to be with you wherever you're from. If you need to access the words, then please, you'll find them at the top of the Facebook feed, and uh, you'll also find lots of other information about our Sunday services on the Northgate Church website, northgate.org.uk. So uh, let's carry on and worship God, a song called You Were the Word at the Beginning. It's a song that actually talks right back to, or takes us right back to the beginning. When uh, in the Word of God itself, it says that He was the Word. At the beginning of time, he was the creator. God was the creator of all things. But at that, that, that time, there was the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity were all in place at that stage. And God made the world, the world and it said that the, the Holy Spirit brooded over the world as the world was made. And then Jesus came to earth. And at the time where Jesus was baptized, we see the Father, we see the Son, we see the Holy Spirit all in evidence at one time. So this word actually, this, this song helps us to think about that sense of God being right there at the beginning of time, before time, and he is the author of time. You 
were the word at the beginning, one with God the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory in creation, now revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. You didn't want to didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus.
just as Andy and the guys on the instruments play and, and Phil and Alex are singing, we're singing, just sing along. Just begin to let praise rise. Just as you hear the music play, just sing along. And even if it's just praise you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. Or whatever it is that God puts on your heart, just sing praise to him. Lift up his name with the sound of singing. We praise you, Lord. Amazing God, we serve. Wonderful song there by Twila Paris. He is exalted. And another wonderful song written by our very own Andy Clark on the keys today. 
Lord God of all time. So this is a homegrown one, but some of you, if you've been tuning into our worship times, you'll have heard this one before. This is Lord God of all time.
Lord, this morning we give our praise and our worship to you in this garden, around the world, wherever we're gathered today. We just say you are our, we are your people. You are our God. We belong to you, Lord. And be glorified today in the rest of our time together online. As we go about our business, Lord, let us be mindful of your goodness and your faithfulness and your mercy to us. Christ living in us, you paid the greatest cost. And we're so grateful, Lord, to you today. We just say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's been so good to be with you today. It's been so good, guys, hasn't it? Yeah, we, we've missed everyone. We've missed not being together. We know we'll be back at some stage. We'll be able to be together. But uh, today from uh, Rosset in Wales. Thank you for joining us. Be blessed. And we'll see you next time. God yeah. bless. Well, good, good morning, morning, Northgate Church. Yeah, lovely to be with you again this morning. Can you believe it's been one year since well, we stopped meeting physically together I and know. went online? Unbelievable. A year ago today, um, we did our first online service. So that's 52 whole weeks where we've been meeting together like this. Mm. But a little bit more about that later. Um, but first of all, really, uh, to everyone who's uh, joining us uh, today, we want to give you a very warm welcome. Yes, we do. It's just lovely to gather together in God's presence because in the end, it's all about him. As it says at the uh, front of the church building, um, Northgate Church is not closed. It's still open online and the community is thriving. Yeah. And uh, if you want to know more about Northgate Church, which is uh, situated in the lovely city of uh, Chester, well, just go on to our website, northgate.org.uk, and uh, there's a pop-up menu, and you can um, link in with Connect In by completing that form. People can also put a prayer request in, can't they? They can, yes. We've got a great prayer team dedicated to really bringing different requests before the throne of God. So uh, if you have something you'd like us to pray for, please just send it in. Well, a little bit about um, today's service. Well, it's a little bit different. We had a, we had quite fun this week, didn't we? We did, yes. <laughs> we have been looking back through our old intakes and our outtakes and uh, it's amazing to see the journey that we've all been on during this last year. Well, uh, earlier in the week, um, the leadership team, we all uh, gathered together um, on a Zoom call. A conversation reflecting back on the past year, the, some of the highs and lows and the laughs. Mm. And um, what we're going to do today, we are, we, well, we've recorded our conversation that we had and um, we're going to share uh, that with you today. And um, in it, uh, perhaps you'll see a little bit of what's gone behind the scenes of um, church as you've, you've seen it from uh, that side of, of the screen. But we had fun, didn't we? Lynn? We did, yeah. And it was amazing, actually, as we looked back over the, over the year, how many things we all have to be really thankful for. I think we entered into the year, remember that first Sunday of lockdown, and no one knew what was going to happen. Mm. And I remember reading from Psalm 91, you know, he who dwells under the shadow of the Almighty. And truly, we have lived this year under God's protection and he has been with us every moment of the way. So enjoy, enjoy our conversation. And uh, if you've got any thoughts on the last year, um, well, you can put them in the chat section and um, things that have, that have really struck you or you've really um, enjoyed or benefited from, particularly being part of the online uh, community uh, here at Northgate. Or you can uh, email us at church at northgate.org.uk. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the service. Yeah. So it's good morning from me. <laughs> no, we got that one wrong. <laughs> good morning from him and good morning from me. <laughs> good morning. Good 
morning church family and greetings from our home on this wonderful Sunday, Sunday morning. Well, good morning, Northgate Church. Good morning, Northgate Church. Good morning, everybody. I just want to welcome you to my house. Good morning and welcome to Northgate Church. Behold, I am doing a new thing among you. Now it springs forth. Will you not perceive it? The church is who we are. It is not primarily at all about Sunday mornings, as good as they may be and as a blessing that they may be to us. But church is who we are. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9 I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. My Poem of Hope by Martha Gray While we are a team, we will get through this. Come on, we can do this. Let's stick together. Share what you have and look after the elderly. When skies are grey, look out for the rainbow of hope. If you don't know what to do, pick up a Bible. It might help you. God is our leader. He will get us through this. So come on, world. We're going to beat the coronavirus. We will be okay because God is with us. We couldn't pass upon the opportunity in wishing Gerald a very happy birthday for yesterday. Happy birthday, Gerald. Happy birthday. <laughs> 300 grams of godliness, a generous squeeze of mutual affection and lashings of love. Put that together, that's the cake of life. Great to be with you this morning. I'm actually reading this uh, and praying this on Friday, which is VE Day, Victory in Europe Day. What is Christmas? It is Santa with his reindeers and his sad. Good morning. Welcome. I'm surprised everybody who's in the building. <laughs> It cannot be replaced or overpowered. It cannot be analysed or dissected. It is the blood of the Lamb. So, so, so your seat gently on the ground. Do you remember in the first week, Lynn? I do. When we when we did the first the first ever broadcast, we did it from one of our bedrooms, and Gerald was stood up holding the script on bits of paper, <laughs> and dropping. The it was so amateurish. When we look back now, whoever dwells in the shadow of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Um, and it's been a real journey learning the technicalities and but you know hey we've all done it and you know lots of people in the body as well have really joined in and gone for it yeah and I think that's been one of the most wonderful things for me over this whole lockdown is um, the contribution that so many people from the church family have brought that's been amazing and We've been on this great big technical journey, but lots and lots of other people have been willing to step up to that as well. And I think that's been yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Greetings in Jesus' name. Well, good morning and welcome to Northgate Church and our online service today. Hello and welcome to everybody from the Northgate Church community and to everybody else joining us wherever you are around the world. And I've really, really enjoyed the richness of what so many people have brought. It's just been wonderful. Being thankful and having a thankful heart is very important. 
we are to be thankful in the things we need to express our gratitude to God and to people who he uses to help and bless us. So just as the eagle comes down in that rest, we are able to rest in the love of the Lord. His support is constant. His love never fails. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. His love is faithful. We were made to function well in his love. It is our place of rest. Father God, we thank you for your limitless love and great compassion for us. You know all our circumstances, all our joys and worries, all our needs. <laughs> Where's your favourite location, Gerald? Oh, I think it was the bandstand. Um, I, I did it twice there. Um, I really, I really enjoyed that. And um, but I also like doing the Advent series, even though um, I was hours trying to get the right shot without traffic noise um, in the freezing cold. I've also enjoyed um, recording other other people. I remember. Um, going over to Rich Nutt's place at eight o'clock one morning and us walking down to a local lake near him. And we were doing the uh, teaching series from uh, two, was it two Peter one, um, uh, add to, add to, add to, and he was doing uh, knowledge. And I just thought that was wonderful. I thought Richard did such a fantastic mm. job there. As we remember that I am significant accepted and secure in Christ. I am a child of God and I have a hope and a future. Knowledge allows us to act and serve as God intended, share our faith and in partnership with the Holy Spirit, give answers to the questions of the world. I had a lot of um, a huge number of outtakes, which at the time were very stressful at times <laughs> but now as we've looked back over them it's been hilarious to see where we started and you know the journey of going through one year on to ourselves as in that last verse we have to renew our mind we cannot afford to let our mind slip down old pathways we have to choose I think in particular um, some of the Zoom, online Zoom, mm. uh, what do you call yeah. a Zoomian, the communion Zoom, <laughs> but where different life groups have taken responsibility. Yeah. The diversity and the richness mm. that came out um, mm -hmm. in some of those has just been Fantastic. absolutely tremendous. Yeah. I think one of my highlights was Rhiannon's photograph tour of the mm. year, because at first I was like, this, what, what are we watching? But actually, I, I've, I've still really remembered that. I remembered her finding God and celebrating in, in, in the strangest of times. And, and I just loved it, like watching her and Martin Gere. I just thought it was brilliant and, and actually just really nice to watch and reflect on. And it yeah. made me think of my own year as well. I thought they did a really good job with that, their yeah. life group. So Jenny, you've had quite a year, haven't you? Um, in just being a head teacher, a head, yeah, the head of the school and um, having to deal with incredible changes hour by hour at times, wasn't it? Yeah, I think definitely flexibility is something that um, everybody that works in a school in any form has had to learn over the last year and changes literally at the drop of a hat. I mean, it's strange looking now, it's you know the 15th of March um, and it was the 16th, I think, that I sat in my office with a member of staff and. We found out at that moment, as the rest of the country did, that schools were going to close a few days later. Um, and and I, could, that, I think that's going to be one of my real memories was just, oh my goodness, life is really going to change as we know it. And obviously we've been on a real roller coaster since then. We've been open, we've been closed, we've been half open, half closed. You know, it, mm. it has been absolutely crazy. So in terms of um, the, the, the connection of Northgate and Wolverham, how have you found that this year? it's just been incredible um it, it's been one of those things where you just look back i mean i've had budget meetings just recently and looking at the donations and i know it's not just about money but looking at the ways that the church has actually been able to bless the community of ellesmere port has just been fantastic i'm also extremely thankful to so many members of church 
a few weeks ago we had a, a, a like a little bit of a fundraiser to raise some wellies for our children and these have been exceptionally well received we're still on the lookout for more um but we've got the money now to be able to buy what we need which is which is great and i'm also really just thankful to be part of a church where people are bothered um and people are stepping up i think um jenny mcgrath came to school last week to drop us off some um ipad type tablets they're samsung mm -hmm. um that were donated to kids bank so um mm -hmm. through kathy so fantastic blessing they will be as we move forward and i took jenny into the courtyard and she saw the wellies lined up oh, the great. church paid for and she's just like oh are they the wellies and i thought yes of course i'd actually you know i never want to forget but we, we you know things move on don't they and they're just now used every week from our two-year-olds all the way up to our 11-year-olds and there are muddy wellies all around our school and it's just great because the whole school community knows that they were provided by Northgate so mm. thank you to everybody that donated to our welly appeal. Andy how's the worship journey been for you because you've really spearheaded <clears throat> that on behalf of the Northgate Church family. The, the way that we've been doing the worship which primarily has been um, on Facebook Live, when I, when I first started doing that a year ago, I, I didn't think it was going to work. I thought it's going to be rubbish. It's just going to be me in a room just talking to the camera. No one's going to really pay any attention. How on earth is this going to feel like I'm leading worship to people? But there's just something there's something about it that really works, and especially when when folks start replying and saying saying hello and joining in and popping in prayer requests or even just talking to each other in the little comments box it really you really do get the sense of a of a community really which um which is a thing that i think probably we've all missed the most welcome to northgate church online service hey jenny and hiya angela and denise and joe and heather and martin and gailka i led um abby abby and i particularly did um, every Wednesday and Sunday for about six months. Good morning, everybody. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. And then later on, um, we started streaming from the building, which was brilliant. Um, getting the worship teams involved in there, and um, and then I'll get involved as well and streaming from home. Worthy of every song we could ever sing You're Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring I have to say, the I, one of the highlights was the outdoor one in that guy's garden. Yeah. Yes, totally agree. There have been two occasions where we've been able to get together and, you know, regulations allowing and just safely, socially distance, record some worship sets. So yeah, that one in in um, in June last year in in, in Guy's Garden was was brilliant, wasn't it, Joe? It was. It took yeah. it took a long time to get set up and, and everything, but just to be together again and and to play and to to worship was brilliant. How did you find it, Joe? Yeah, I think the same as you. I think just. You know, I think one of the things really missed is that corporate worship of just being of sense of together. You know, I think as Christians, that's part of the the reason why we meet, especially you know, on a Sunday and together. And I think you know, you leading us or someone leading us in worship is is good, but it sometimes feels like you miss that person next to you. And for me, yeah. being able to drum and just hear harmonies happening and different musicians actually all in one room or well outside but all in one place <laughs> you know i think just for me it was yeah lovely just to worship with others at that time Our God is the lion. Jenny, um, in terms of kids' church, um, because it, of course that had to adjust very quickly, and I know there's been a lot of challenges for kids. How's that gone? Well, I can't really take any credit for our fantastic kids' videos that have been produced. Um, I think for me personally, just a new head teacher having to deal with um, a pandemic, I just was completely overwhelmed at the time. 
and um, Vicky Davis really stepped up to lead that and has continued to do that. Good morning Kids Church, how are you this week? You had a good week. Good morning Treasure Hunters, how are you? I hope you're all okay. Um, we've missed you um, the last few weeks so we thought instead we'll bring you Sunday School but in your own houses. So I hope you're sitting comfortably and I hope you're ready for a session at Treasure Hunters. And so there's a small team of people, Joe included, um, there's Claire, I know Alice and Leaf have chipped in at times. Um, I've just done a fantastic job of providing short but really quite succinct Bible rich videos for our children. Hi there kids, it's really good to see you. Good morning kids. Uh, so um, welcome to the Mac house. Good morning Kids Church, welcome to today's session. It's great to be with you. And you know what? God's special cloud that we've already been talking about, his special cloud appeared over the desert so everyone knew that God was about to do something and that God was there with them. Good morning Northgate children. How are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we miss you very much. And, you know, I'm really grateful that Vicky took that on and, and has continued to organise it. They're fantastic. I've watched many. I think I've seen the majority of the Bible through Lego in the last... Um, <laughs> yeah. In the last in the last year. I think another aspect of um, is the kids, the very regular kids' contributions yeah. uh, into the... Um, the 11 o'clock online, um, uh, particularly with the, the Bible readings, the rhyming Bible we, we went through. Yeah. But I, I, I think they have been brilliant. One friend, two friends, three friends, four, climbed on a roof and there they took a hole as big as a man and, and more to lower their fifth friend on the floor. God help me beat a lion, God help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant size, I trust but God is there. The den was dark and damp and deep. The lions growled and roared and leaped. But, da but Daniel got a good night's sleep, for God was in there with him. Show me a sign, trembling Gideon begged him. I'll put out a sheepskin tonight, wet it and soak it, all covered with dew, but leave the ground round it dry. I agree. And on that as well, just the particularly early one in the lockdown, when people were stuck at home and that was a novelty, um, people seemed to pick up kind of creative um, things that they'd not maybe not done for a while or tried something new or just amazing to see like the paintings and the music and the, the, all the different kind of creative things. And of course, you've got the some really highlights, you know, like the Mac family theatre group. <laughs> Jonah learned the hard way that God is in control, that hating is not great, and it will swallow you whole. It's been great as well, I think, how the church family has really come together to support each other over the whole year. Mm. That's been fantastic. You know, there's been a real sense of we're in this together yeah. and where there have been, you know, specific needs in different households or in different groups. It's been wonderful to see how others in another part of the body have stepped up to mm. and stepped in to help in any way that uh, they can, really. Mm. And been beautiful to see how the children have contributed to the well-being of others in the yeah. in the family. 
I'm just going to mention one of the things that has been really good. have been the live services recently, you know, where we've done the combination, the pancake. Um, yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Like those ones, I thought they just had a different element, but it was so nice to mix up. I don't know, Jenny or Andy, how you felt sort of. <laughs> <laughs> you Absolutely fine. Like, you, can't, you can't script it, can you? You just have to go with it. No. So it's fine. It's, they've been really good fun to do. And I think yeah. seeing the people like on remotely contribute in, I mean, obviously sending the packs out in advance has been really great. And I think people have really felt blessed by that. But I think seeing them contribute back in, I've really loved seeing the photos. So for Christmas, we had these Chris Dingle packs. So we sent them out to every every child who was in the church. And then also people, we just invited people to join in, didn't we? So we had folks yeah. as far away as London saying, you know, friends of friends of people from the church, yeah, I want to join in. And then to do this live service, when we make the Chris Dingles, then have the pictures come back in. Yeah. And we're all doing the same thing, even though we're all separated. It, was mm -hmm. just, it just was a lovely sense of community. The same thing with the pancakes. Mm -hmm. So um, I think, Gerald, it was your idea to get everybody a, a paper chef's hat. Um, so when, they were, when the kids were cooking, doing the pancakes at home, then you've got the pictures and they're all wearing the hats. And again, we're all joined together, even though we're separated, we're all doing this communal thing. Just uh, just talking about church family, um, in some respects, the Northgate family has grown. Um, I know a bit numerically, we've had a couple of uh, um, children born, but uh, particularly Andy, I think when uh, in midweeks, when we see who is connecting mm. and where they're connecting from, Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. come, just two weeks ago, I thought, my goodness, it was all over the all over the world, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you're right. With the 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 Wednesday worship in particular has has almost got its a congregation of its own. A very good morning to you. Welcome to Wednesday worship, which is lovely. With this folks from from Chester, of course, and then from further afield in the UK, from from Yorkshire, and and then yeah. Our um, new friend Jeff from Minnesota. Hi, Jeff, if you're watching. Um, we've had folks from India. I know a friend of mine who lives um, in Slovakia has been joining in as well. Um, yeah. It's been incredible, really. We've had those from Nigeria and Ghana. Yeah, of course. Aruba. Yeah. And Aruba and the Netherlands. Yeah. And uh, Hi, Peter, Elaine. A Peter yeah. from Zambia. Of Just course. From yeah. Zambia. He yeah. joined in. Yeah. 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 I think that Wednesday worship has taken a life of its own. Because I remember when it first started, you were a bit unsure, Andy, but it's kind of progressed yeah. into, and especially like the um, the the just the piano stuff, you know. Yeah. So with Wednesday worship, I think that started maybe about a month in, and I just, you know, when you get a, just a real niggle, you know that God's kind of prompting you to do something. Mm. I just knew that I needed to do something in in the middle of the week because the Facebook Live thing was working. Um, and I just thought, okay, we'll give it, we'll give it a try. See what, see what happens. And it's been brilliant. You're faithful forever. You're perfect in love. You are sovereign over us. Because you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. And then, yeah, about maybe October, November time, I was, I was really struggling with my voice. I have ongoing issues with my voice and I can't always, I can't always, it doesn't always behave itself. So in the end, I, I just had to do, but I know Wednesday worship had to keep on, to keep on carrying on. And, and Abby supported me a lot in this in the, in the early months as well, which was brilliant. But then she was back at work, of course. And, um, and so I decided, right, I've got to carry on. I'll just I'll just try it instrumentally. It will be rubbish. People won't connect with God because it's just me playing a piano. But but I'll see what happens. And anyway, that's that has really shocked me how yeah, how people have felt they've been able to worship through through that. And I think it's almost easier for those who are non-Christians 
who are yeah. who we know mm. engage with this content they don't always say hello because because they're the folks who would struggle to come in through our doors on a Sunday morning. And it's been wonderful that even though the medium through which we're worshipping is different, and we're doing it online, we've all um, still together somehow been able to come into the presence of God. Mm. It's yeah. been wonderful. And I think as well, you know, in it all, we really need to thank God because he's been wonderful to all of us throughout this whole time you know I yeah. remember that very first Sunday um, and I can remember reading out Psalm 91 you know he who dwells in the shelter of the most high yeah and I think without doubt this has been a really really challenging year in all sorts of ways but there's always been that sense of God with us and God protecting us and that we're under the shadow of his wing throughout this whole time. So one of the highlights um, out of the whole year, I think was when we celebrated that baptism mm. and you know, the new birth and somebody coming into the fullness of all that God has for them through that mm. initial door of baptism. It was amazing that we were able to get the baptistry set up and yeah. do a socially distanced baptism. It was just momentous and you just thought, even in the midst of such a crisis, you know, God's progress couldn't be stopped. Mm -hmm. What God was doing in people's lives was just forging ahead. It was a really significant moment that I felt. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to start by saying thank you. Thank you for that even though we have been through a strange and somewhat challenging year, you are faithful and you have remained with us. Over this last year, we have had to adapt and move our services online. We thank you for the skill of the people within our fellowship who have been able to help resource this. We thank you too for the wealth of creativity within our fellowship and how these gifts have flourished during this time. We pray that you continue to inspire these people to show more of you in these creative ways. Lord, we also pray for all those people who have been impacted by our online services, whether it be Christians that have learnt more about you and have been able to draw closer to you, or maybe people who do not yet know you. We pray that you continue to be real to these people who have heard your word. May more of you be revealed to them. Father, we also pray for all those who we know who have been directly impacted by COVID, either those who have had it or those that are recovering from it, and also for those that have loved, lost loved ones through it. We pray that your unfailing peace fills their hearts and that people find comfort and rest in you. I just want to finish this prayer by reading the Lord's Prayer over you. Feel free to join in wherever you are listening. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Blessing, manna rain down from heaven. This isn't second guessing. We know that we are protected. May the peace that surpasses all understanding be our message. Grace and favors in your nature, in your essence. May favor be upon you and a thousand generations. And your family, and your children, and the children, and the children. May favor be upon you. Children, may His favor be upon you and 
every song we could ever sing. You're worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. So worthy of every breath we could ever bring. We live for you. So Jesus, the name above. the 